Hello, this is Micah Wood from WordPressMarketing.com. Uh, that's WordPress-Marketing.com. And I'm here today to show you how to set up an RSS uh, feed from another website in the sidebar of your WordPress website. And uh, so for those that don't know what RSS is, it's basically a standardized format for sharing web content. Um, and WordPress automatically generates uh, an RSS feed for you. Uh, out of all the blog posts uh, that you make on your website and uh, and if you take a look we've got an RSS link down here at the bottom so if I click on that uh, it takes me to the RSS feed and it allows me to subscribe to that feed um, using things like the Google feed reader or through the Google home page or uh, through blog lines, live bookmarks, a bunch of different applications. I mean, it basically shows all the blog posts down here so you get an idea of what you're subscribing to. Um, so we'll go back to the website here. Um, and basically, uh, it's great. RSS is great for publishers. Um, for example, if, if I'm putting content on my website, uh, that content's automatically being put into this RSS feed and, and people are able to access that. So it gets my content out there with little effort on my part and it's great for readers um, because they can actually subscribe to those updates and uh, don't actually have to visit your website now I know you really want them to visit your website um, but having readers that are engaged uh, through your content uh, will visit your website uh, whereas uh, if they were not engaged they might never return so uh, having having people keep up with your site in that way is a great thing uh, and it allows users to uh, they can keep up with all the websites that they want to keep up with um, all at once through uh, through a single portal such as the Google feed reader or uh, some of those tools so so why are we going to uh, insert an RSS feed into our sidebar here uh, what good is that going to do us well let's say we have a website and uh, this website that we're putting together is uh, for let's say a dance studio so we want to to have content on here about dancing and uh, the problem is that I don't have a lot of time and I don't uh, you know don't want to put fresh content up as much as I probably should um, and so I, but I do want to have fresh content on here so what I'm gonna do for those people that do visit my site I'm gonna make sure and have some uh, RSS feeds with recent articles on dance or the dance industry and have that up here in the sidebar um, so the next question is how are we gonna do that well first you have to have an RSS feed to put on the sidebar so there's this really cool tool uh, it's called feedzilla.com and uh, basically they have a directory if you see down here and uh, this orange icon that you're seeing over and over again is the standard icon for an RSS feed uh, so that's why you're seeing that but this is each of these uh, areas here these are this is a directory of aggregated feeds which means that for each uh, topic such as art or entertainment um, all of these topics um, are pulling RSS feeds from websites related to that topic so you're going to get the latest news in entertainment or health or you know whatever it is um, so what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here we see the dance uh, since that's our focus right here we're going to click on that uh, link it's going to take us again to this page you know where we can subscribe uh, to to an RSS feed and uh, and it shows us kind of a preview of the content that we'll be getting so we kind of scroll through it and check and say okay yeah that's the kind of content I want on my website and so we're just going to come up here and copy this URL or the, the address um, and we're going to use that to put that into our into our sidebar here so I'm going to go to the back end of WordPress uh, so you log into your WordPress and it takes you to this dashboard and uh, over here on the left you have this appearance uh, menu so I'm going to use a little drop down and click on widgets um, and so what you're gonna see when that pops up is we've got this sidebar here and uh, some people have multiple sidebars uh, so you just kinda have to read the title and know where you're putting it um, but over here in the available widgets you're gonna scroll down if you have to uh, to find the RSS uh, widget you're gonna drag it and take it back up to your sidebar just drop it in 
and it's going to pop up here with some options. So it's going to want the uh, the RSS URL, so the web address. So we're just going to uh, paste that right in there because we copied that already. And then we're going to give this thing a title. Uh, we'll call it Dance. And uh, there are some other options here, but for now we're just going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go back to the front of the website and refresh it so we can see uh, our content. So now we have uh, this link up here, which is going to take us to the uh, to the directory. If we were pulling from an individual website instead of having this aggregated content, this top link would take us to the website that we were pulling information from. Uh, and all these other links down here take you to the particular post or article um, that the title shows here. Um, so we do have a few options uh, under that widget we set up. So let's say we want to show three articles. We want to show the content and the author if it's available and perhaps the date. And so we're going to save those changes and then come back to the front end and, and refresh it. And so now you see we've got three articles. Um, we've got the link to the article here. Uh, we see it was published today and uh, then we've got an excerpt uh, from that article. Uh, that, that gives users an idea of what that is about. Um, so that's just one great way that you can get uh, extra content on your website with uh, little to no effort and WordPress makes it really easy to do um, through RSS. So if you have any other um, questions about how this could work um, or would like some other ideas of things that you can do to, uh, to help your website uh, and market a little better, feel free to visit WordPress Marketing. That's wordpress-marketing.com. Thanks.